do a frequency scan, first you need to run the load flow of your system. Go to simulate, find load flow. Then go to options and drag and drop the input impedance. Connect this uh, input impedance at the bus where you would like to uh, visualize the input impedance. And go to simulation options and select frequency scan. Actually, you have to uncheck find load flow first and then select frequency scan. Here you can determine the range of frequency you want to scan. There is no limit. Here, let's go up, for example, to 20,000 and click on OK. If you click on the frequency scan device, you can decide if you want to scan the positive sequence, the negative sequence, and the zero sequence. By default, the, the second pin is grounded, but you may display this pin in case uh, you want to do something specific, for example, scan across a circuit breaker if you want to know which kind of frequency you will have on a, free, on a circuit breaker closing. And so now you are all set. You may run this scan and we are going to determine the impedance at this point. Okay, open scope view. In scope view, you see that for each uh, type, you have angle and magnitude. Here, the frequency scan is done in phasor domain. And you have here input impedance phasor, input inf impedance phasor angle and magnitude. And ZIN is the name of my device here. I can click to select, select it, the magnitude and then the angle. And now you have the magnitude in ohm versus the frequency, and it goes up to 20,000, and near the angle in degrees versus the frequency. If you would like to visualize uh, X and R instead, you can do that in scope view fairly easily. Go select the magnitude, then click on the case and write multiply by cosine COS, then select the angle. Be careful because the angle is in degrees, so multiply by pi and divide by 60. You may copy the same line and put here a, sinusoid, a sinusoidal SIN to have the, uh, the admittance. Here, make sure the four boxes are checked if you want to visualize them. Another possibility, if I focus only on one graph, is to display this graph in logarithmic. So for that, right-click, go to Graph Properties, X, And here you can select log and apply. You may do the same thing on Y, select log and apply. You have a shortcut if you would like to do it quicker. If you right click, you have here X axis type, Y axis type. Thanks for watching. Bye.